all right uh what's going on guys moxification here so today um i thought i'd like do a video that i you know what? i thought i'd already done this before um but it turns out i haven't done it and it's something that i probably should have done you know like two years ago you know like 100 percent should have done it ages ago um and i feel like i have done it but maybe maybe i haven't you know um i, I haven't been able to find a video on my channel anyway so maybe i've done it on a previous channel but um yeah i don't know um so essentially you already probably know you you know there's there's so many people out there who 100 percent know how to do this um and it, this only works in certain cases but a lot of these cases are you know like sort of the the norm you know it's, it's something that you know always it's, it's always in servers it's always in offline files so you know either way you're never really gonna ever have to do the long method of this which is uh, something that i'll show in another video um but essentially flashing a kv is something that you know everyone has to know and everyone has to do and for a long time i didn't know how to do it and it's it's really simple you know um obviously there is another method into you know in actually doing it uh the real method whereas this is the fake method uh but both of them will work in in cases of like um if if the server supports it or if the offline files that you would be using to connect to xbox live supports it um and then uh, you know another day i'll do a video on how to properly actually flash your kv to the console um using like uh flash 360 and all those things with the with the uh with your nand and stuff you know obviously eventually i will 100 percent do that video um but it's just it's one of them things that uh, i just need to sit there for a bit uh, get all the programs that are required because I've, I've probably got them on my computer somewhere but it's, it's just a lot of effort involved um and then recording the video you know and all that uh, whereas this is quite quick and simple so i thought i'd do it and get it out there uh, just because there's that there, i'm not gonna lie um normally normally i'll say you know someone someone's asked me to do this video no one's asked me to do this uh, this video um it's just I, I know that like there's people out there who've said stuff before in the past where i'm just like hmm that's a bit strange maybe maybe they just don't know it and obviously th this is one of those videos for people who haven't got a jtag or maybe they're about to get a jtag and they don't know what to do or whatever uh, it's similar to that and i'm sure that it will get a lot of dislikes because a lot of people know know this already so um yeah so uh to flash a kv to unban your xbox to you know get give your console or your jtag a uh, new console id you could call it like uh in terms of like yeah, the KV. Um, what you want to do is, obviously you want to turn your JTAG on. Um, once it's been banned, you'll know it's been banned. If you turn it on and try to connect, uh, connect to Xbox Live, it will say you've been console banned. And in which case, you would need to go and buy a KV. Um, I bought uh, three KVs about a hmm, couple of hours ago, maybe. And uh, So yeah, now I've got them. So uh, I'm going to get one of them, which is... Um, I believe, yeah, this is one of them. Let me open up this folder, hoping that it's in here. Uh, yeah, so we'll use we'll use this one. Here we go. Uh, so let me let me get this. Uh, let me get the KV. Uh, there you go. KV. Don't need the CPU key. Um, you'd only need the CPU key in a case of uh, doing the other method, which is a, a a different thing for a different day. And I'll, I'll do the the real actual method, whereas this is the fake method. So um, normally when I, you know, when I put a KV on my console, what I do is I'll make a folder um, in my KVs folder, which is the folder that we're in currently, um, and I will essentially just rename a folder to called on, essentially. Um, and there was one thing that I totally forgot to do. Uh, I forgot to get the... Let me drag this back here. Um, and I forgot to get the CPU key as well. I don't need it. It's just, I, I you know, then I'll know which one it is. And I'll stick that in that folder as well. So yeah, so now I can delete this and get get rid of it forever. Um, so uh, yeah, so this is the KV that I'm on. Um, this is the KV that I'm going to be using. So my console is banned. I'm just going to show that to you now. Um, if I open up Hall Purge Capture, you'll be able to see. Um, it won't be the greatest quality, but you'll be able to see roughly what's going on. Not even roughly. You'll be able to see 100% what's going on. Uh, but it just won't be, you know, it won't be 1080p. It will be like you know something terrible uh so yeah so I, i'm gonna connect to it actually i'm not even gonna connect to xbox live i'm gonna sign into an offline gamer tag um and i'm on ninja right now if you didn't know so what it's gonna do is it's gonna say sign in for a little bit and then it's gonna go through the stages and then it's just gonna it's just gonna fail it's just it's gonna say uh console band uh with the you know with the xbox message that they 
the Xbox gives you when your console band. So uh, there it is, uh, console band, um, and then you'll know your console band. So now, uh, from here, you can either use a USB or use neighborhood. Uh, me, I'm going to use neighborhood. Um, all you want to do is, um, you want to open up neighborhood, or as I said, USB. Um, you're going to go find the, you know, the directory for the root of the hard drive. So some servers and offline files um, do allow you to, you know, boot from like, for example, a USB. You know, uh, some consoles don't. You know, some people don't use hard drives, some people use um, an external hard drive or a USB or, you know, uh, whatever. So, um, you're going to go to the location of the plugin, the plugin that you're going to be using, um, in, you know, stealth server, um, not not stealth server, sorry, I said that weird. I meant to say server, um, because stealth server isn't a real thing. Actually, I want to make a video on that, I'm going to make a video on that um, in the future, because not a lot of people know that a stealth server isn't a specific thing, it's just the name of one thing. Um, potentially you could say it's like a company name um, but uh, yeah I'll get into that into uh, in another video because that is something that I really want to talk about um, but yeah so um, essentially you know you're, you're gonna find the location of where you know your your plugin is for your server or offline files um, the server or offline files is gonna have to have the the option to actually put the KV in the hard drive and have that as your kv because um really when you're when you're putting a kv into the hard drive and when when you're doing that you're not actually flashing it there's a term for it and uh you can ask any of the the people who you know make the uh who, who have uh, who own the servers and own or uh, make the offline files you can ask them what it's called there's a term for it i think it's called a fake flash but i could be totally wrong on that but th there's a term for it it's fake something i think and essentially, you're not really flashing it, but you're you're like maybe it's a spoof. Maybe it's like a I think it's like you're spoofing it. It's it's something like that. You can you can ask the people uh, who do that. But um, essentially, you're not really doing it, but the, the, it makes the console think it's doing it. And so then after that, it's always going to be on there. And then that's how that's how it does it. You know, you could you can talk to people who do that, and you know that they'll correct me on that. But uh, yeah, so you want to find the location of where the um, where you know. The th uh, the thing is where the um, where the, the plugin is, so that is in the root of my hard drive. So that is uh, Ninja XEX. There you go. Um, and then you want to get the KV. So my KV is not the recycle bin. Uh, it's in here. Um, all you want to do is make sure the KV is KV dot bin, and you just want to transfer the KV dot bin um, into that file. You know if it's if it's KV underscore DEC dot bin, just remove the underscore DEC. And make sure it's spelled kv.bin, um, not kv.txt. I've never seen that before, but I'm sure that people, for some reason, will have that. Um, you know, cpu key.txt. Um, make sure that it's, you know, uh, kv.bin. And you, some some people uh, put the cpu key in there. I used to do it for a long time. You don't have to put it in there. Um, I haven't put it in there for a few months now. On um, yeah, I don't know, it just, it, it just doesn't, it isn't required, but some people will say put the CPU key in there as well. Um, uh, for me, in the past, it did, I think it used to have, like, have to go in there, but, you know, right now it doesn't have to go in there. Uh, so, yeah, uh, so once that's in, uh, you're good. Uh, I'm just going to exit off Hall Punch Capture. All you want to do is uh, turn your Xbox off, just reboot it once, it, once it's in there. Um, if you transferred it with the USB, you just put the KV on the USB, uh, put that into your Xbox, go into XEX menu. Uh, and then you transfer the KV into wherever the location was. Um, if it was on your USB, you'd keep it on your USB. Wherever that plug-in was, you'd keep it in there. And then you turn your Xbox off. And uh, I'm going to turn it back on. I just I'm going to open up Hall Punch Capture again because uh, if you uh, if you turn your Xbox off and back on with Hall Punch Capture already running, uh, for some reason it crashes. Uh, it it didn't used to do that. Only only the recent updates decided to make that a problem. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the console's coming on now, so I'm going to open up the Hall Punch Capture. Um, and uh, one thing I totally just forgot then was that the console automatically turns itself off and back on. And that is the flashing process. That's what it does. So I'm going to uh, exit out of this one more time uh, and turn it back on. There you go, I'll open it up. Um, now, what I have noticed is in the past, I'm not sure if it will happen again, but in, in the past with Ninja, when, before it was Ninja, when it was uh, XBLS, um, that's what it was called, Xbox Live Stealth, um, it, it did actually reboot the console a few times, uh, just, you know, whatever, sometimes it would do it once, sometimes it would do it twice, um, even like when redeeming time or whatever, when getting time, it would restart the console a couple of times, 
um, it, it depends. It all depends on you know what server you're using, what offline files you're using. But uh, for me, right then, it just it rebooted itself. I turned itself. Uh, I turned it off. Um, it came back on. It booted up to sort of like the the you know dashboard screen, and then it just rebooted itself. And then obviously this is the I guess you could call it the first reboot, but it's like it's already done the reboot. So turn it off reboots itself and then it's on uh so yeah so uh here we go we're on now um obviously i'm on the console now uh the only thing that you'd i'd say to do would be if it doesn't connect you straight uh, straight away which it has already done um all you'd want to do is go over to you know if go onto the dashboard uh, and then scroll over to settings i'm just waiting for it to load up here we go uh so settings then system uh just clicked on storage didn't mean to do that at all um uh, click on uh, network settings if you've got a wired or wireless network, you click on that, and then you do a test Xbox Live connection. And obviously, this is going to pass. It might take a long time because my internet is terrible, but it, you know, it's it's all going to go through. It's all going to be good. Uh, the one thing that I would suggest would be to never use wireless. It's just not a good idea in terms of JTAGs and RGH consoles. Um, it's just it's just something I've known for a long time. You know, if you've ever got a problem with your JTAG you know or rgh it's probably because it's on wireless you know it's just it's just something i've known for a long time and always you know when you go over to wired it fixes it normal normally like almost instantaneous you know so uh yeah so definitely give that a go if you have any problems connecting to xbox live um the only cases that this wouldn't work by putting the kv into the you know root of the hard drive would be um if the thing if the kv is renamed wrong or if uh, the server or offline virus doesn't support that method, as I said before, you know I'm sure that you all already know this, but this is this is the video that um, people ask it. But in terms of people who, not people who have got JTAGs. Um, in fact, you know what? At the start of at the start of the video, I think I said that uh, no one's asked it. One person did ask it. Uh, I remember someone asked it uh, probably a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week ago now. But, um, yeah, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It's just one of them things that people wish to know, um, p new people, you know, really new people. And no one ever really shows you, you know. So, um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. I know it was, you know, pretty simple video. And uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll upload some, some more videos soon. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Moxification. See you in the next video. Uh, yeah, goodbye.